Oh wait, that's back in there. Oh, right, just this way around, not the other way around. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Cerberus has heavy forces incoming. We'll need to hold this position. myself better this way. Come on. Come on. Oh. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Or set up preparations for the next wave. Oh, there are more waves. Yay. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? It should not be much longer. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Ah, uh, wish I had ammo. Uh oh. Oh, it's behind us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. 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 Well, this isn't good. This is, in fact, quite very bad. Ah, 
Damn it. Ugh. Uh, swarmed on both sides, no good cover, no fucking ammo. Yeah, there's no way I was walking out of that one. There we go. Now I have more viable cover. Shield is almost down. Once so I tear through its shield, I can tear through the rest of it. Can't tell if that was it shooting me. No, it's still there. Oh! Oh, I killed it. Damn. Oh, well. Fun thing about the Atlas. If you can uh, break its cover and then shoot out its uh, driver, you can pilot it. Now that the Atlas is gone, though, should have minimal to no resistance. Sesame. There, you've got it. Got us. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness.
Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No! The bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, not to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never give up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Synthetic. This is not a good beginning. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. I think he likes us. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. I'm sure he's adjusting well. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies. Stop doctor. trolling. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? 
All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell oh, us... Oh, here's the it. fun uh, revelation. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. With that, we have just met the I biggest Debbie Downer of them all. Species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes. I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? The 
There was liquid, a form of incubation, the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm wow. Sorry. Way to be depressing the there, Javik. History has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. Oh yeah, well, they technically gave it away in the flashback. But since they all pretty much look the same, it's kind of hard to tell. But this is the Commander Javek. He hasn't given his name proper yet, but yes, that is his name. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. <laughs> the think space sees <laughs> Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen. And we knew our cycle was lost. We were the uh, I don't think the Quarians were around at their time. Remember, 50,000 so years ago. Are supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us. And the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have well, yeah, he said in mach machine intelligence, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they were around at the same time. Just means they had similar outcomes. It's something that they implied about Mass Effect 1 as well. Sorry, I'm going to pause you there, Javex, so I don't talk over you. Uh, it's something they implied about Mass Effect 1 as well, that... The Protheans had set up their government and everything around the Citadel as well, much like we had. Yeah, Shepard said we had, we had something like that. It's called the Geth, or it, we, it's called Geth. The idea is that they had a similar experience, though. It's not the same, because the Geth were created by the Quarians. And the Quarians technically existed during Javak's time, but as he so dutifully reminds us all the time constantly we were a primitive species that were stupid you would have been offered a choice to join the empire but when the reapers attacked we ceased all study we hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest well thank you think is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build we heard only stories they said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the reapers you never saw it by that point the empire was smashed into pieces none of us knew what the others were doing well if we don't finish it soon the same will be true of us what can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. 
Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanum. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. All right, after that lengthy probing, we now have Javik. And I have a new toy. shit out of this. Oh, I can only do one through five. Oh, that's depressing. Oh, well. see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye. Made my peace. You were talking with him when the collector said? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. 
Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Man, more depressing. All right, let's go finish off, uh, I think, one more mission, and then we'll call it good for today, because I'm getting kind of hungry. Mm -hmm.